Detroit, 24 points against the Bucks Thursday. That's just six here today. Goes right at Portis, left-handed shot, misses. Kane with a rebound, back up and drops it in. Nice hustle right there from Jamal Kane. It's a nice play by Grayson Allen to attack the closeout and search out content in the corner. Oladipo with his second three-pointer. He's in double figures again with 12. I mean, he, he's played well for them, and we watched him at the end of finals games. But everybody else left the arena putting the extra time in all by himself. When he was with Phoenix. Oladipo gets inside. 16 points for Oladipo. People try to avoid looking at my face. <laughs> this over three minutes gone by. The fourth the Spruce hits the three. Hard to go under versus Spruce. Anywhere across half court. Timeout by Budenholzer as the Heat back up double figures. Every time the Bucks make the run, they've cut it to one at one point here in the second half. The Heat have had an answer. And game plan this one, you should understand who this is. You go underneath that as a price to pay. Hand down, man down. Keep playing. Keep playing. Come on, keep playing. Come on. Eight minutes, nine minutes, come on, keep fighting. Keep fighting, we're gonna break through. Bobby Portis and the Bucks trying to win a game on the road without Giannis Antetokounmpo missing his second straight game here in Miami. But they're down 10 with eight and a half to play. As a coach, who's the best talker that you had the opportunity to coach? Well, let, uh, out of bio with a nice finish off the second shot. The best talker when you combine on the court and as far as what Portis is doing, Larry Johnson. Action. Show if you're worth anything as we see without a bio there. You can't say keep fighting and play soft. Now all five starters for the Bucks in double figures, but they still trail that pass from Holiday, stolen by Gabe Vincent. Oladipo, Vincent, Kane, Struess, and Adebayo. Nice feet inside, and Adebayo with the flush on a gorgeous pass from Victor Oladipo. If you're Eric Spolsky, you got to love that, not just because of Bam, but how much closer and closer Oladipo is getting to get it back to himself. And a steal from Oladipo, finishes down the other end. Largest lead of the game, a 16-point advantage, timeout Milwaukee. Point. Takes the play offensively and then defensively. Comes under the steal, off to the races. A welcome sight for Miami Heat fans. Victor Oladipo turned it back the hand of time. Back of today's slice of greatness delivered by Pizza Hut. Gabe Vincent, he was great Thursday night with a career-high 28, but great again tonight. 25 with seven and a half to play. Holiday lost it again. That's three straight possessions on the turnovers from Milwaukee. And from Holiday. And from Holiday. Oladipo throws it up. And Ohio catches. Shot won't go, but a foul on Lopez. That'll be his fourth. And free throws for Bam out of bio. Oh, Bam going to the line for two. You know what I've been thinking about all week? It's bothered me. Because you're right a lot of times, but you're also wrong at times. I'm still being said. <laughs> I'm not off base. Apology accepted. So, Anthony Davis, if you're throwing darts at my face, it's fine. <laughs> I've come back to reality. You're in. That kind of three to stop the 13-0 run. Oladipo comes right back and starts another one. Oh, and Victor Oladipo sharp here today. Oladipo drives, can't finish. Out of Mayo, the rebound, and put back. Butler's played 27 minutes at 16 points. Draw the shot blocker to you, and even if you miss, it's a semi-assist. Also, the value of a hard work of big man. Amen to that. 
Jason finds some room, gets out of bio for another flush. That's a beautiful setup from Gabe Vincent. The lead back to 18. Three pointers out of 77 shots. They have 57 a season high on Thursday night. Oladipo behind the back out of Mayo, drives left, got it. 20 point lead with three and a half to play. You can tell he's getting the swag back. The confidence, the aggressiveness, attacking on both sides of the floor. Lopez knocked it out of bounds. A lot of long hours, lonely hours doing the rehab. You got to be committed because here's a guy that was at, on top of his game and an elite player in this league. Two-time All-Star, All-NBA, third team one year, All-NBA defense, first team one year. Got a lot of help without a bio today. The impressive here this afternoon. They're up 15. The Heat have led almost this entire game. Vincent, the floater is good. 27 for Vincent. As we approach a minute remaining. And we keep talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo out for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton. So the Heat without three starters is out of bio. Throws that one down. They were without Hero, Lowry. Didn't mention Caleb Martin earlier. Caleb Martin, a very important player for the Miami Heat. Uh, this is an NBA season we've seen. There's Martin, where you simply have to figure out a way to win when you have key guys out because you don't know from game to game who's available to play. And Miami, as mentioned, will go to four games over 500 for the first time this season, improving to 24 and 20. Gabe Vincent, he didn't exceed his career high, but how about his back-to-back -back games? 28 points on Thursday, 27 points here today. Jimmy Butler could rest in the fourth quarter. Gabe, you're such a professional. You gave me all the right answers. The first post-game interview on ABC. Can we get a smile? Can we get a hot mom? Something? Of course. Always smiling. This is case mom sees it. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you, Monica. All right, Monica. Perseverance, boy. That's for sure. This young man is really turning into an excellent NBA player. And another chance to start. His knee is healthy. And he puts together back-to-back his two best scoring games of his NBA career. Final score from the Miami Dade Arena. The Heat 111 and the Bucks 95. For our producer Tim Corgan, director Mike Schwab, our wonderful ABC crew. For Jeff, Mark, and Monica, Mike Green saying thanks so much for watching here on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. Now, right now, let's go to Mike Greenberg, back of the studio.